everyone, Nikki here. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be doing our Easter theme crafts. We're going to be making a super cute mini Easter egg tree as well as painting wooden Easter eggs. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so thanks again for everybody that picked up their kit. I'm going to go over what I sent home today. Um, everybody got their own little birch tree. Yours should look basically like this. I'm going to show you how we're going to kind of assemble it. And then I sent home a variety of these hanging sparkle eggs. The Easter tree is super self-explanatory. You'll barely need me for that. Um, it just makes a cute little decoration. And then these are my eggs. So I sent you home with plain white wooden eggs that I painted and um, as well as magenta paint and yellow and white. So if you got my email, you probably um, decided to paint your egg either yellow or magenta before the class. If you didn't get a chance to do that yet, just mix a little white with those to get a nice kind of pastel. And um, you could pause me while you let your eggs dry and then you know go ahead and continue. So a couple of these eggs are from last year. Sadly, I just changed my angle and one of them fell. So this just broke. This is one of my favorites too, so I'm a little upset. Um, so these ones were actually real eggs that I poked a hole in each side. I made these last year. And um, I basically used like a skewer and then I blew out the yolks and whites and then I dyed them and painted them. So I have a couple from last year and I guess this is um, a sign that I need to paint a new one of this one today. So I'll probably demonstrate this egg as well as this egg. All right, because I thought that one came out cute. So everybody did get a variety of paint markers. I sent home as many as I could with my supplies. I had 20 to accommodate. So um, there's a limited amount of color that I gave out randomly, but if you have paint markers at home or more paint at home that you want to spice up your color palette, go right ahead. So um, yeah, I'll just show a quick, this was kind of my version of like a, um, the Ukrainian egg. So that one was with yellow and then uh, pink and green on it. And this one's just a super cute uh, traditional Easter pattern. Uh, this one I did last year. This is actually a real egg. So I'm just giving you a close up of all of these. This is like my little rainbow egg. And those were all done with the paint markers. Got this one. And then yes, this one will be trying to re replicate today. So there's, you can still get a feel for it. And I got this cute little floral one I did this year. All right. And then, like I said, this one I thought came out really cool. I think I'll demonstrate this one. All right, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and start putting together our Easter tree. All right, so you should have got this little wire tree. Um, it's like a faux kind of birch tree. Um, I have a, it was a variety pack, so this is a smaller one. Um, I sent home all the full size ones to you guys. But um, it's super easy. You're just gonna kinda gently pull out the branches. So first, just pull out all the base branches to get yourself started. And you can kind of make your branches as twisted up or straight as you want. That's totally up to you. Um, you know, I would say just leave some kind of a little bit of a curl to some of them just so that you can rest your eggs on them. Um, and the eggs are super lightweight and not breakable. They're just styrofoam. So you can just kind of arrange the tree how you like. So right now I'm just spreading out all the wires and then I'm gonna give them a little bit of a curl. And I feel like these could be used even if you had like a um, train collection or something like that, like for like a little mini winter village, but, um, or for an Easter egg tree like we're doing today. I've been wanting to do this craft for a while, so I was glad I tracked down these little trees. All right, so I'm just separating all my branches here. Super simple. Like I said, you probably barely need me for this. All right, so now I kind of have it where there's like a branch evenly around everywhere. Okay. All right, so once you kind of have them all spread out like that, maybe you want to give them a little bit of a, a curl to them. It can be random with it. And I figure we'll do this nice and early, this craft, so that we have them all on display leading up to Easter. Okay. So, just kind of bending around a little. You can see they're very easy to work with. Right. Excellent. So if you need more time to um, kind of arrange your tree. You can go ahead and pause me. Otherwise, we'll move on. Okay Okay, 
Okay, so I think I have my tree where I like it. Got a nice little array of um, branches all kind of winding around. So now, basically, wherever you like, go ahead and hang those cute little eggs. If you need to kind of shift a branch and give yourself a little bit of a spot to hang them, that's all good. And I gave everybody a variety, so you should have about seven, seven eggs in there, six or seven. And wherever you think it works, go ahead and adorn your cute little tree. And definitely shift around your branches need be. All right, and there's your super cute little Easter tree to put on display. Okay, so go ahead and grab your paint markers. Um, each kit, I think I sent home three. Um, if you do have paint markers at home and you want to branch out with your colors, or if you'd like, I did send home the yellow and magenta and white, feel free to incorporate that. Grab a paintbrush if you want to um, add some more colors to your design. All right, so I'm going to be starting with this one. This is an egg that I previously painted pink. So if you want to do this design, go ahead and pause me right now and um, paint your egg and let it dry, and then you can start up and we'll... Um, Let's paint it together. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my white paint marker. The paint markers should all be, um, you know, activated, but the way to do it would just be to um, give it a little, a little dot. These are my own personal markers that I actually purchased. Um, so I have a variety of colors here. If you uh, like this kind of stuff, it gives you the look of paint, but, um, you know, it's a little easier to work with, especially for fine details like this. I'm just doing my petals here. I'm gonna do six petals. I'm kind of leaving a little white line in the middle there, just for a little texture. And I'm leaving space in the middle for a nice little center to my flower. So I put this pretty much in the center of my um, egg. And I did paint this egg using magenta and then I mixed in white to lighten the, um, the hue, give it a little more of a pastel color. If you wanted to do like a nice dark pink, you totally could. And by all means, if you want to try a design I'm not demonstrating, one of the ones I showed before, um, go for it. Or there's plenty of ideas, as I always say, on Pinterest. So I'm just using my white paint marker here. But like I said, if you didn't get a white paint marker in your kit, you could always use your white paint to create this design. Right. I'm going to make this a big, vibrant flower. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my yellow. And you could take your yellow paint that I sent home for this, or um, if you got a yellow marker, you can just use your marker. Should do a nice little center there. And when I'm working, I usually just leave my paint markers open. Um, so I'm gonna grab red next. Okay, I'm gonna add a little accent to the center here. Now what I did coming out of one of the leaves, I have like the red, it's almost like um, underneath the white flower. So I'm going to do that. four petals because it's kind of making it look like it's underneath the white. Okay. Let's do the same on the other side. Back to my yellow. Maybe I'll add a green little stem there just to finish it out. 
kind of place these wherever you see fit on your egg. You don't have to follow my exact design. I'm already doing something a little different than my first one. Just be careful now because we're starting to fill up the design a little bit. So now I'm going to um, go ahead and make another daisy on the other side. So let me see how I did it the first time. Yeah, so I had them a little bit opposite sides. So maybe I'll put it closer to the top here. Still big and vibrant though. And like I said, if you don't have a white paint marker, go ahead and use your paintbrush and the white paint I sent on it. working with regular white paint you might let that dry a little bit more the paint markers are fast um, before you add the little red in there it might be a little too wet okay. and I'm gonna add some nice green leaves leave like a little line just to give a little texture to the, the petal. Okay. So now it's filling up nicely. Maybe I'll do one more down here. Um, I think I made mine a little bigger than I did on my first one, which is fine. basically did two large white um, blossoms and then I did a couple red. So put as many little red flowers you want coming out the side or as many little green um, leaves. It just adds a nice little touch. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to make these little dot designs just to kind of um, give it a nice little accent. So you could, I did a mixture of both um, white center with yellow around it and then vice versa. So it's just a larger dot in the middle and then six dots around the sides. And this could really be, be any color. So we'll do one now. Uh, yellow center. And I had them kind of hugging the flowers a little bit, um, but if you wanted yours more like floating in the middle, that's fine too. seven of these throughout but if you really like how they look go ahead and put as many as you like go to one more here and the pink and the red is kind of a cool color combo but this would work with any of the colors that you have on hand so all right so there we have our first egg let's go ahead and uh, get started on our next one okay so I'm gonna demo this sad little guy here <laughs> that got broken but um, 
that's okay, we'll be able to follow along. So this one's just kind of a repetitive dots um, and little swizzles. So it's pretty simple. Um, like I said, if you you know want to branch out and add, um, I'm gonna use five colors, so maybe you take um, some of the yellow or magenta that I gave you, or if you have another color at home. All right, so we're gonna kind of start at the top and then make our way all the way down as even as we can. And that's about it. All right, so I'll start with the green. I pre-painted this yellow, I mixed a little white with it. So let's just start ourselves off with the, the dot right in the middle. And then I'm just gonna make my way along the side. So it's kind of like an opposite design of something like this, that the lines went all around the side. You could do this too, which always comes out cute. Um, this one was a little bit different because um, it goes long ways. And it could be like a little bit of a um, take on Ukrainian eggs. They do a lot of like dots and lines and stuff like that. I'm always fascinated looking at pictures of those. So go ahead and try and keep it as straight as you can along here. All right, I'm just doing plain green dots. The paint markers are nice because it comes out pretty solid right from the beginning. So you really don't need to do. And if you were just using your regular paint I sent you home with, Maybe you try the back of the paintbrush as I've shown before for a dot technique. Um, so you can really get nice rounding. Alright, so I made my way around there. Here. And luckily the paint marker does dry fast. I'm gonna try out the white on uh, the white did look so pretty, but this is like a darker blue. So we'll see, I might switch out. To like an orange if it um, if it doesn't show through enough. So yeah, I got myself these paint markers on Amazon. They are, they mark on anything, rocks, glass, wood. Um, these are oil-based, but I've seen the acrylic-based ones too. I don't know which I prefer, honestly. Um, I've really tried both. So I don't think you can really go wrong. Um, one of these did explode on me at one point, this oil one. So now I have like my first line. I tried to keep it as straight as I could all the way around. Okay. So now I'm just gonna put down my green. I'm gonna go to my pink. And I'm gonna do um, little arcs all the way around the side to show you. Pretty close. The key to this design, kind of like mandala, is to um, keep it nice and close that detail work will really be uh, nice for the final product. Alright, so go ahead and do your swizzle line like that all the way around. Okay, so as you can see I completed my first little swizzle line all the way around there. Not perfect, but I kind of tried to follow the design of the dots. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side, same color. So whatever color you're working with, and I'm going to do pink little arches all the way around here. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Okay, great, so now we have our first uh, little layer of lines. Now we're just gonna go back to the basic dots all the way around, and we're gonna do them on both sides. So I'm switching over to blue, but whatever color you want, and you're gonna do the same green dots, and just try to keep um, a nice straight line. If you want to make them a little bit bigger, All right, so go ahead and put your next layer of dots all around. Okay, so I have my layer of blue dots all the way around. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, and again, just be careful, especially if you're working with regular paint, um, the way you hold your egg, and I'm gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna be kind of doing this the whole time, mirroring our um, design for each side, okay? Okay, so now we have the, those couple layers there. Now we're gonna do exactly what we did on both sides of the blue dots. Um, try to add in another color if you have it, otherwise you can just repeat back to the ones you're working with. Um, and we're gonna do little, those little scallops on both sides of the blue. I tried working with my white on the yellow, it didn't show up, so I'm gonna use uh, my light purple, okay? Okay, so I'm just finishing up my um, layer of scalloping around those. I know you might be like, oh boy, this is repetitive. Look how cute that's, that's coming out. 
All right, so now let's go ahead and, and grab, uh, you can either cycle back to the first color you work with. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more layer here. And if it's getting tedious, you can start putting your dots a little bit further apart. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and don't forget these are gonna get shorter and shorter as we get closer to the side. So we're getting there. All right, so I'm gonna do one more layer of dots. Maybe I will make mine a little further apart. So I'm gonna do that on both sides. All right, so go ahead and do that and then we'll catch up. Okay, so I'm just rounding the corner here on my layer of dots. Like I said, I made them a little further apart. Okay. All right, cool. So let's switch it up. Now we're gonna switch over to zigzags. So that white layer I did here. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my green. And I'll start, as you can see, we're getting close to the center there. So basically I did it like little triangles coming out, best you can. It gets a little funky because we're working on a round design. So they might sometimes kind of swerve a little bit. Okay, just make my way around, still being careful as the paint marker is a little tacky, not bad. Okay. It's not gonna be a perfect zigzag, like I said, because we're going in a round um, direction. So it's gonna kind of curve a little bit, but just try and follow your dots best you can. Okay. Yeah. Give your marker a little shake once in a while if it feels like it's running out of paint. Okay, so I have my little layer of zigzag. So go ahead and do that. Same thing, same color on your other side, okay? So the next design element we're going to be doing are these little straight lines, okay? So again, with the curve, you know, work best you can with um, your shape. Okay, so I'm going to grab my dark blue. And I'm just going to, again, holding it carefully, do little lines pointing in to the center. It doesn't have to be too long. And keep it tight to your little zigzags and just do your best to kind of have them pointing in toward where your finger is probably holding the egg right now. All right, so my next layer, and mine's actually dry enough to hold it this way now, thank goodness. <laughs> so next layer I'm gonna do is just a layer of regular dots that we've always been doing. And um, like I said, just switch it up on your colors, whatever you think works best next. You can make them a decent size. All right, so go ahead around the, the inside of the, the one side as well as the other, okay? Right, so we are closing into that center. So now I'm just gonna do a little scallop work like we did in the beginning, um, best I can. You know, once things are getting tight here in the middle, um, just make your way around where it fits in pretty much with your dots. Everyone's shape might be a little bit different here depending on how tight your design was. actually just gonna take the center and fill that with uh, dots of the color of your choosing. You want to kind of keep going in a round direction that works. Whatever fits in the middle there. Okay. Go ahead and switch it over. Alright, so there we have it. it. Came out super cute. I have a replacement now for my poor little fallen friend here. Um, all right, so that one is done.
All right, so I'm just gonna recap. So we have our cute little tree here. Hope you enjoy that, display that around the, the house. And as far as if you wanted to try this design, I'll show you another close up. I basically started here with these, uh, one, two, three, yeah, all these lines here. And then I just did like some scalloping around each of the lines and then put a line in between and then went around it again like that. And then when I got about halfway, I did these cute little um, floral kind of bursts coming out. And then toward the top, I did the little, uh, same design we did on the, the pink egg, those little um, centers with the six dots. And then I just did a little design there. So if that's something you're interested in, um, you know, go ahead and try that. And then this design I'll show you. I just started on one side. Um, with my green leaves and then I just um, basically made some blossoms pretty random did some dot work too with the green and I uh, gave some of them a center so this is like just a cute super easy design that you could try and then um, this one was pretty much uh, as you can see I started from the side with the dots and I did the scalloping more scalloping and then I did some of these little diamonds and then the swirl going around more dots so um, these diamonds with the outline came out nice. And then I came back around with some scalloping and then the dots on the end. So that's an option too. This is another super easy design I did last year. And these are just little flowers, little like starburst type flowers in varying colors. So that one comes out nice and simple and you could even add dots to that if you wanted to, to spice it up. All right. Great. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. And if you have any questions, please email me. Otherwise, I'd love to see your finished products. Have a great day and a happy Easter.